Then uh, the national roaming operator is uh, one of the units that uh, you need to do with the government. Initially, if I were to do this on a one-on-one basis, you would get no units checks that you need to do. Let's take an example. You are working with, uh, if you decide to, let's say, collaborate with, uh, uh, let's say, IFC and uh, MDAC. And uh, you want to be able to make this together to get the case to get your agenda. But when it's more than the government, you have your secrets given and shared and defeated for you. Similarly, so I think it is pretty very good. That one can work, but in the event that you have more people coming in, it kind of makes a lot of things much more obvious. So, national only memory I don't think do is that. Every body sends to us, then we handle the whole thing that we speak in the book, which is where you come from. According to where you are coming from. So, uh, national programming operator, uh, an example of this very comfortable video. Uh, we collect your video, we get your CPO, you share with us your radio server ID, you share with us your. The secret, the share the secret, and then any connections going with you or coming from you, uh, we handle the distribution depending on where they should be going or depending on where the application should be going. So instead of having, uh, I think there's some study in the space, but instead of having you and the team, you can let single person's previous survey, previous survey, you can just add the same thing. One is real, everything else has been written. All the other ones are real. So, we do entirely one of the things that we have But we try to get most people to start thinking about how we need it. Someone is having a lot of money that we don't get some good money in the place and try to do it. We have to try to come to the customers to not ensure that it's not getting cheap. So we yes, we find the national policy activity and then we also try to be compliant with the global policy. 
on a la caisse, on va se dire qu'il y a un peu de ça, on va se dire qu'il y a un peu de ça, on va se dire qu'il y a un peu de ça, on va se dire qu'il y a un peu de ça, on va se dire qu'il y a un peu de ça, on va se dire qu'il y a un peu de ça, on va se dire qu'il y a un peu de ça, on va se dire qu'il y a un peu de ça, on va se dire qu'il y a un peu de ça, on va se dire qu'il y a un peu de ça, on va se dire qu'il y a un peu de ça, on va se dire qu'il y a un peu de ça, on va se dire qu'il y a un peu de ça, on va se dire qu'il y a un peu de ça, on va se dire qu'il y a un peu de ça, on va se Thank you. 
So I think most of the institutions here are open to enterprise things like uh, you know, but uh, things that things like one thing where you know, instead of connecting directly, you have to the sample to identify for some you have to identify. That is an example of uh, just not not even it's an example of connecting with uh, instead of sharing, connecting with other players. So institutions realize that instead of having a shared field where uh, some exercises they can have uh, some form of a single center. So how it came about was that uh, in the start. An institution from this say uh, university, and someone would connect and uh, authenticate, like authenticate you know, every time I'm there, I'm authenticating because I'm using my email, uh, Google, WhatsApp, Google, email, and my password. And uh, that was nice and good. But then uh, they realized that uh, while here at Google, I can connect without communication. Without and then the person is still exactly the same, but also connect to the same without the issues. But what if someone from Guru goes to Spain? Usually, if it's a shared team, you just find the name and the other guy asking for the first one. But if it's an uh, enterprise, you have to have an account from this side. Or you have to get someone's account. You have to convince someone that you give it that account. In <laughs> that case, you have to talk to what is that mean to pray for your credentials, which is the best credential that you can use. Maybe like, so which is not to say, which is more hard. Which is, yeah, which is more hard. So, solve this challenge. Initially, we would uh, conduct the system and tell you, we have a couple of students coming. Uh, we can pay that pay that if you have space accounts there which will be disrupting their policies. There is their policies by giving them the only accounts for non batch accounts for all the users and other stuff. So it's either that which is a bit of the country by the or these two can have like an initial interaction. This uh whereby now Google will just system up system of just uh, that collaboration, that collaboration can work, but it's limited. In the event that they get multiple, so that's some of the views that they have to make. But uh, in the event that uh, multiple people come in, you need some form of like a uh, in the event that multiple people come in, you need some form of like a uh, central point where all of you can go, can reach to and say, let's focus this, and we shall all send this, we shall all send our application with our, not we shall all send our application through that to reach the important institution, the important institution. But uh, in this case, since someone from Guru has visited this thing and is connecting through, is connecting with the same as the video, or ask Wi Fi, through, uh, connecting with the same as uh, Wi Fi, the same mm -hmm. will be the service provider for the listed institution. Where it gets fixed the authentication form, it will be the identity provider. So, uh, I am explaining the first slide as I did in that one. This slide that I just did. Okay, what was that straight line? What does it mean? Yeah, initially, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. if you are to deal with only one institution, let's say ITC wants to have a collaboration with only the you, know, you go to your previous server and say, I am going to trust the dealer. And then you also tell the dealer he has to trust you. So there's that connection which is being created. So that's very like uh, that initial collaboration to say that uh, okay, me and the dealer have been in some form of collaboration for this period. 
I don't know if that is the way it was set up. Actually, you can, but uh, you have to switch your server to the bad mode. The bad mode. Say it's getting ready to go. This is why most of the time you have to switch your server to You have to switch your server to the bad mode. The only challenge is that uh, you have to end it. So switching to the bad mode, you may not be able to see a lot since a lot of things are happening at once. A lot of people are trying to authenticate to your. Yes, you're at your through the main or to your yes. So yes, you can switch it to the bad mode. Try to do something that try to search for your people and all that, but uh yeah, you do not have to provide that much abstraction. You have access. You can see most of the things from the radius. One of the things which could help would be uh include some monitoring on your radius. Yeah, you could maybe maybe through rules or something, through rules. Uh, there is a folder. Okay, but there is a folder. I think it's uh, under the value value of radius. There is a folder called the uh, SCCT, something called radius accounting. It can have like uh, some more details of what's happening. Who's connecting? Uh, which are they coming from? And all that stuff. But usually, having a lot of moving parts, you need to. I know that like, passing that to go with no server to make the license of it.
avansat și timp. Nu să-i dau și de să vă de sală. Sau, la ideea este de exemplu, un exemplu, un de informație, un mare de sală, un mare de sală, un de sală, un de sală, un
Uh, I good morning. With that, the radio server has a setting in that when someone has been denied more than three times, like the device, because it has that built in the in the in the client, like in the in the like in the device, like an AP. So as the device is denied more than a certain number of times, it will not like it just turns them down after maybe after some time that's when they are prompted again to do what to check. So I have tried it and I have I have seen it when even you're monitoring, you realize that once you deny it like three times, when you're in the back mode, you try to see the loss, they are no longer coming. <laughs> Yes, because of the last one. I understand that I can even implement that, but it's very, very difficult to But the concept is imagine I'm one at very little testing of change. I'm not going to attempt as one. I send requests for like one, then two, then three at very not the same user, but different users. If I send all these requests at once as 200 hours, I get that, but also I, I got to realize that. Yes. Because someone will know if I use the same account, Shamil has very little this strategy, two things that you should be blocking. So someone will reproduce that link, Shamil one, Shamil two, like that, not the same account. Uh, how would you implement that? Um, um, I want to know how you would implement that for you. For you to send that, you need to appear as some other ones in the same. Or you need a kind of one in the same. Or you need to have the uh, access points in the same. I'm 
The other thing that I realized when you're configuring C radius, there is a parameter whereby you there is a delay technique whereby before if it is a script running, of course it runs uh, it runs very fast, right? But the radius has the parameters that they put there whereby when someone is authenticating, there is a delay to to if you can set a delay like two seconds. Normally they set over to one some you can change the parameters depending. If you don't want to you could zero. So in case someone is running a script and the delay timer has been activated, it means that the script will wait for a no from like there is a wait because it is delaying to send not to, to a wrong person. Even if it is, it knows that that wrong person is there, and then the script will be delayed. In the end, the hacker may will say, eh, "The system is very slow." That's I have seen that when you we are like. Yeah. 
the local domain, authenticates everything else past the region, and sometimes people uh, do local capture of domains that are known to be errors. Um, like, you know, Gmail conference, getting a lot of those, so that they can some people will accidentally mark that up and get presented to this idea of the person who will send it and just pass it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's not going to work for one, you can annoy the user, and then the user doesn't know who to go to to help. So um, that's why it's always best for people to set up their own, on their own campus. Think, you're going to say it's your own society. So the thing is, the users use it at home. Hopefully, there are courses, so sometimes people will allow their username and not the domain name um, for authentication. I'm not, I don't know where it's working, but that might work. And you should actually make sure that doesn't work. Because if their username works on their campus, their username and uh, password, when they come to this campus, right, their username and password, it will hit the local register, the local register will go, well, there's no route information. I don't know how to send it upstream, so it must be a local person. And then they will get presented the local certificate. And uh, if they're going to do you know, verify, they may get presented to the OK, or they may get to and the user will pass the local radius and the local data. So, always try to be full web when you do your first time. Um, and then the other thing is that you can also use the local domain name and password to get the user to get the data and get the data to the user. And then the users will be able to work on their data and work on their data.
about this but like he did just talk about how to limit users and that was one of the objectives that we, we, we gave in the first day so if if we tackle such issues yeah, like unless if it is in the presentation so we need to exhaustively get the solutions and implement them but if you're saying you finish it's okay <laughs> Let the responsible people follow up with their questions. I think the guest study would be nice. <laughs> we might be asking stuff which is coming in the next slide. So let's <laughs> make <laughs> it. Okay.